requested pretty much since before Archie was even born um, but I thought it'd be best to wait a few months till I've actually been a mummy for a little while so I can show you properly of course I'm talking about as you probably know by the title of this video what's in my baby bag now I didn't know whether to call this what's in Archie's baby bag Archie's changing bag Archie's diaper bag if you're in America um, but yes I'm going to be talking you through everything that we carry around with us and now that I've been a mum for seven months I'm kind of in the swing of knowing exactly what we're going to need so I think it's a lot better that I waited to do this video is what I'm trying to say so let's get straight into it first of all I want to show you the bag now this is Archie's changing bag this was really kindly sent to him by a company called Coco Bow um, not very long after he was born actually and I was so so grateful because I have found or I had found finding a changing bag that I liked on the high street impossible they were all kind of like had cartoons on them or were really bright garish colours and on one hand maybe a changing bag should look like it's for a baby but on the other hand until they're that little bit older and you know the kind of things they like and maybe they want to have their own like rucksack or bag or something then why not have the stuff in it in a bag that looks nice and that you yourself like I actually love the fact that it has a bow on it because obviously Dolly Bow Bow and it has this little bow keyring as well which says Coco Bow in mint and it's also really really clever because it has a long strap like that so you can put it on your stroller or you can hold it or you can put it over your shoulder but it also comes with another one and I won't go into too much detail but hopefully you get the gist it has these three um, loops on the back and you can just detach this long strap and add this one and you can use it as a backpack um, which I think would be so handy if you haven't got any hands free. The bag itself has these two large pockets on the front. I'll go into what's in them in a minute. And it has this pocket on the back. And then obviously the main compartment in the middle. So I'm going to show you what's inside. As you can see, it's absolutely packed. So I'm just going to start getting stuff out and show you what we take with us um, for a seven month old. This is the kind of stuff he needs. So first of all, toys. There are some lower down inside this bag, but he loves little toys that he can hold um, and obviously chew. So he's got a Sophie giraffe and he is obsessed with this frog. I really don't know why, but he loves it and he loves putting it in bowls and things and holding it. And yeah, he just, he loves these. So we try and take these out with us. And then feeding. This has taken up so much room um, in our baby bag of recent weeks months because he has recently started to, to eat food so when we go out we usually take with us a couple of spoons and then we take a little pot like this or sometimes two and these are really handy for travel you can obviously we keep the food in the packaging until he eats it but these are really handy you can put a lid on them if you need to um, and then just for when we're going out, we tend to use things like this. This is something he's only very recently started to try, and that's the Ella's Kitchen um, organic meals um, for seven months plus, from seven months. Um, and this is the chick chick chicken and rice casserole with apricots. He loves things like this, and these just have more texture to them than baby food. So he's kind of going that stage up from having really pureed things to something with a little bit more texture. And for the first time yesterday, he actually tried these, which are from seven months as well. And they're the Ella's Kitchen Cheese and Tomato Puffets. And they're tiny little crisps that kind of melt in the mouth. So he really does need to start learning how to chew. He does have things like bananas and bits of cucumber and stuff. But um, I just thought these would be a handy little thing to have when we go out somewhere. Um, and if we're sitting down, he could have those. And he really likes these as well. These are the Cow and Gate... Um, pure 100% pureed fruit so these are really great for traveling just ready to go um, these are the pear and pineapple ones they do loads of flavors and he 
absolutely loves these but I think he's going to need something again with a bit more texture because these are very runny, uh, very very pureed so what I think I'll start doing is taking out pots like this with fruit pureed in but I'll just puree it down to a slightly thicker consistency than this. Obviously he still has bottles so we take one or two of these out depending on how long we're going out for and where we're going etc. So he has these and also for when we're out he has these. These are the Gate follow on milks because he is over six months now um, and I don't know what people think of these if you think they're really lazy. Um, sometimes we do take out the powder in a little container and a uh, thermos with hot water in it but I just find for travelling and going out these are really really simple they're his milk that he has but they're already pre-made it's the exact right amount for him and he doesn't seem to have any problems with them whatsoever so these are really great continuing on in the bag we always take a little muslin cloth out with us just for little spillages he's always dribbling and sometimes I'd like to use something that's not a baby wipe just to like I don't know why I'm demonstrating it on myself um, <laughs> but we use a muslin cloth all the time for different things sometimes he just likes to hold them more toys he has this little soft bear which um, he's had since before he was born and he loves again anything he can hold and chew he really loves these keys so these are Chico ones and he likes those a lot and we have spare clothes Spare clothes are a must-have with babies, so we generally do take a full outfit out with us, although I haven't got a t-shirt in here at the moment, so I will need to put one in before we go out. But he always has a little pair of trousers or joggers like this. These are from Zara and I just love them, they've got little trees on. A pair of socks, then we usually take a couple of vests you know, for poo explosions and sick and all those lovely things that babies do. Um, and obviously we take a baby grow out because if we're out in the evening and we want to get him ready for bed before we head home, we always find that easier because he sleeps in the car and if he's had a bath he can go straight to bed. So um, we take a baby grow out with us. And at the moment we're still taking out his bubble hat because it is horrible at the moment. It's nearly April and the weather is grim outside. I actually meant to say if there's loads of wind noises in this video, don't worry, I'm not in a hurricane, it's just the weather outside is abysmal. So yeah, we do still take out his bubble hat, it's just in the bottom of his bag, um, this is also from Zara. So it's looking like this inside now, I can give you a little, a better overview of what the inside of the bag looks like. So obviously we have wipes, these are the Huggies Pure ones, we always get these and we find they're, they're just really nice, they're like the best ones that I've found in my opinion um, and also nappies these we put in these little pockets they're really kind of deep expandable pockets and there's four of them so I generally fill up two pockets with about six nappies that's quite a lot I don't generally ever use that many unless we're out for like a whole day or something but it's always good to be prepared. This is what I have learned. Maybe if you're expecting a baby or you've just had a baby. One thing I will say is if you're wondering when you're packing your baby's bag whether to take something with you, just take it with you because nine times out of ten if you don't, you will end up needing it and that is what I've learned so far. So if I'm thinking, mm, I don't really know if I should take that, just take it with you. And then it's better to be safe than sorry. It has this really pretty floral lining which I really like. And it also comes with a couple of extras. It comes with a changing mat, which looks like this. It obviously has like the wipeable plastic. It has a little plastic pouch, which is good for keeping anything in that you need to, maybe anything that's wet. Um, and then this pouch as well, this pocket, and you can store your nappies, your wipes. So if you're going to change your baby, you can just take your baby and this, um, obviously if you're with someone don't just leave your bag on its own clearly but um, yeah you can just take this to the toilet with you and there's a pocket along here it's just really handy there's loads and loads of storage compartments and I just generally keep um, yeah a nappy some wipes some pseudo cream maybe some um, like moisturizer like anything like that just keep it in there and it also comes with this which um, I don't tend to use unless 
we're taking out the thermos with us but it's a bottle pocket and it's insulated and again they match so I just think it's so lovely that it comes with these added extras because a lot of bags don't and then yeah you can put their bottle in there and as you can see it's all insulated so I really like that and I just keep that in the side so you have a zip up pocket there for more storage and then as I mentioned you have like the deep expandable pockets on both sides and then yeah this is where I keep the bottle uh, pocket bottle warmer um, and also I find this compartment in the back it's pretty big so I like to if I'm not taking my own bag out with me and I just want to take this because sometimes it can just be too much if you're on your own um, just put my purse my phone keys maybe a lipstick if I get the chance in the in the back and you're good to go and it's also got all of your stuff that you need in it as well because when you're a mummy you kind of need to slim down what you're taking out it's all about the baby finally it has these big front pockets which again are really easy and good if you need to get to something quickly so in here I just keep emergency things we have um teething granules because we've been going through a big old teething stage recently and he has his two bottom teeth now um so i find those really good i don't know if they actually work but they seem to do something good um also got bongella teething gel for babies um again sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's good to have um we also take a couple of dummies out with us he only really has them if He's really, really kind of grumpy or he needs a little nap, but generally doesn't like them that much, so he doesn't use them that much. Um, a little tiny pseudo cream, which I usually keep in here, but I just have cleared it all out to show you properly. Um, and these come in so handy. You can get little tubes as well, but these are good. So that's in that pocket, and they just like have little magnetic closures. And then in this one, I have... A moisturizer this is a face moisturizer because Archie has really dry cheeks where he keeps dribbling all the time obviously you can use this all over um, your baby's body for dry skin but you can also use this one on their their face and this is the Johnson's baby soothing naturals so this is nice um, and then finally we have a bib these have been a revelation to me we've been using kind of fabric bibs for ages for eating and he is just flinging this food everywhere it's fine obviously dribble bibs are great for dribbling and the little fabric bibs I think are really good when they're a lot younger but when they're eating um these are great um we tried the tommy tippy plastic ones and they were really restricting these are from boots and they come in a pack of two and as you can see they're just like they're almost like fabric but they're plastic they have the pocket catches everything and it's pretty big on him this kind of covers his whole front um and it just obviously opens like that these are brilliant and they just fold up so easily you can just take them out with you so i would definitely recommend those when you've got sort of, I'd say over a, a five month old, any baby that's starting to eat really. That is the bag, completely empty. And that is everything we take out with us that we generally find that we need. Um, leave me comments in the box below of things that you take out with your baby, anything that you find really helpful. Um, I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will just quickly say today is the last day to get your hands on the Spring Dolly Box. I'll leave the link in the box below. Um, apart from that, they're all going to be going out on Tuesday, which is the last day of the month. And I hope everyone really likes them. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly say that and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye everyone!